Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. Today is not a first impressions video because I've already videoed this and yeah, my camera gave out. So I got all the way through editing and realized, oh my gosh, my, the disc was too full. It quit recording. I had no clue. And so here I go again. Now the difference between this video and the one that I did before was I didn't use a primer and I wish that the bit the camera would have um, caught that because at the end of I think it was 14 hours it really did hold up pretty good without a primer and I did use a setting spray now the reason why today I'm going ahead and do it with a primer is because I was really impressed with how this held up the next day that I used it I used a primer I used a setting spray and it really just held up very well so as soon as I double check how much I paid for this at Walgreens, it'll be somewhere around this area. And then that way you know, but I got it on walgreens.com. I really like this little bad boy. I mean, for as inexpensive it is, as it is, and if you use a primer, oh my gosh, it really stays on. If you don't use a primer, it actually does a really good job staying on also. So kind of crazy, kind of crazy. But anyways, if you want to see how this does after a full day, you know what to do. Stay well, tuned. Good morning, everyone. So today I am going to do the second filming using the CYO. And right now I'm applying a primer. This one happens to be from Marc Jacobs. My skin is really dry right here. Usually I don't like cream primers because I feel like on my oily skin, it makes it oilier. However, since my skin is like over the top dry right here, I just feel like a cream primer is gonna be the best. So anyways, back to CYO. <clears throat> I had done a video on this all day wear test. So proud of myself and I guess I had too many files on my card from different things that I was videoing and it shut off. And so it didn't finish the end of the day look. So I'm gonna do it again. Today I'm actually at home, it's the weekend. And I am, I say I am, Rob is, and the mover is going to finish moving our stuff. So for the first time in over a year, applause please, we will be moved in one house, one house. So last year when I was, um, I relocated to Texas, Rob stayed in Georgia for a good part of the year. So we had things in basically two houses because he, moved over some of our stuff to a rental house and then he stayed in Georgia till we found what we wanted and that took a while since we're both um I mean in some ways we like the same stuff in other ways we had different ideas of what we wanted and so yeah it was just kind of a little bit harder so I want to say we bought the house here in Texas in maybe September, October, and then he came in October. So long story short, I've had my stuff over at the rental house still, because we downsized to this one and already it was busting up the seam. So we weren't in any hurry to move over the rental house stuff because we're busting up the seams. I've given away furniture. I've given away a ton of stuff. Um, I'm gonna be donating a ton of stuff. I'm gonna be giving away more stuff. Anyways, long story short, um, <clears throat> My lease is up the beginning of March, and so we are taking this opportunity on a three-day weekend to get everything else over here uh, put in the garage. And then we can have everything, like I said, in one house, and then we can downsize even further, figure out what do we want, what do we not want, etc. So. This is going to be odd to be just in one house for a moment, and I'm so excited. Anyways, I'm supposed to be doing a foundation review, and I'm just chit-chatting away like nobody's business. 
Okay, so the CYO foundation bounces into the skin really nice. Um, again, I have dry patches. So, yeah. I tried to exfoliate a little bit this morning, but my skin, because it's so dry around my nose, is really sensitive. So, I'm just dealing with that. Let's put it that way. Um, it, the CYO really bounces in nice, and to be honest with you, the first time I wore this, I did not do it with a primer, and like literally it held up for all day. I think it was like 12 hours when I did the check-in. That's why I hate that the freaking camera went off. So then the next day I tried it with um, a primer, and totally set up different with a primer. I mean... And I'm trying to think of what primer. I think I used the Scandinavia primer. And it held up amazing. So, I mean, it did pretty good after, I think it was 14 hours, if I'm not mistaken. It, it held up pretty nice without a primer, considering I just had it on my skin. And so now I want to do the all-day wear test, so to speak, with using um, a primer. So you guys can see how good this one is. So CYO, they, they don't carry it at my local Walgreens, so I ordered it online. It is made by the Boots Company, I did find that out. And I do remember testing a foundation a long time ago from them, and I really liked it. And now, obviously, the CYO reminds me why. So anyways, um, the weather outside, you know, that does have something to do with how well a foundation will perform and so it's kind of cool and overcast so it's not going to be necessarily a hot day but keep in mind I'm going to be moving furniture and moving stuff around and trying to get organized so even though it's not necessarily hot today I will be putting it through not a vigorous test but for me I'm so out of shape me walking up a set of stairs is a vigorous test uh, <laughs> It's just how it is. So anyways, I went ahead and I powdered and I'll go ahead and put on a finishing spray, which is the makeup finishing spray by Scandinavia. And since I will be at home, I can probably do a midday check-in. So I might do that instead of just waiting till the end of the day. It depends on if I'm in the zone. If I'm in the zone, like nothing can break me from being in the zone because once you break the zone, I just wanna chill. So I might not exactly be able to get out of the zone, but we'll see. Okay, so last thing, it does look white on camera. I think it's because um, it's a little later in the day than normal when I put on my makeup, and so I've got a lot of light on me. Actually, I think this color is pretty close to my skin, and it's the color number is 103. The claims on this is always flawless, never filtered, shake, dot on cheeks, nose, and chin, and blend. It is a long-lasting foundation, and it's life-proof. Life-proof? It sounds like the LifeLock commercial. So we're going to see what life-proof does today. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a great day while I am testing this out, and I will circle back around shortly. Okay, so it is the end of eight hours. I did get in a zone. I'm still in a zone, but I figured I'd go ahead and catch y'all up on where I'm at. So we're gonna zoom in after eight hours of moving. I'm sweating like a dog. Dogs don't sweat, but you know what I mean. All right, let that catch up. Do we have it zoomed? It's zooming. Okay, so what do I think? Um, I think I love this foundation for $7.99. And sorry, my camera makes a lot of noise. I don't know why mine does it and my um, other people's don't. But let's check this out. So I have rubbed my nose. Okay, so yeah, my nose has been running mostly because of all the dust and everything from moving. So I'll admit, I've rubbed my nose, so I've rubbed it off. Now, if I wasn't rubbing my nose, my chin, I gotta give props to this foundation for the chin. Okay, so I'm kind of embarrassed. Let me just explain what this chin has gone through today. It has had chili drip on it, um, cheese drip on it, 
I will say at one point during this morning, not too long after I did my foundation, I decided it was going to be smart to do my teeth and whiten. And if you've used any whiteners, you know that maybe you have saliva. So my chin has been through saliva, drippy cheese, and chili like I've never eaten before. So it did catch in my little dry spots, but for the most part, it did not pull away from my nose like normal. I mean, it still did grab in the dry spots, but after eight hours, not bad. Okay, now my forehead. Again, looking really nice. So very impressed with this foundation CYO for $7.99. I'm gonna zoom back out. Okay, so basically for $7.99 at Walgreens, I am pretty impressed. This is the end of eight hours and it still looks great. I mean, again, if I didn't have the dry patches around my nose and I wouldn't have put it through hell on my chin, I really think it, I mean, it did great. And I've been going up and down stairs all today. I am a sweaty mess. I hate moving, it sucks, but my beauty room is finally coming together. Yay! So anyways, a lot of this shininess is because I'm sweating, I'm sweating. This is why I don't work out. This is why I don't do manual labor. I don't like to sweat, but my beauty room is coming together so I can deal with it. Anyways, oh, I did pick up another CYO foundation. It's a little bit different. It's more in a tube. So I'm gonna try that one next to see if it holds up as well as this one does. But for $7.99, this like might be my next go-to foundation. I am digging it. All right, y'all, uh, please leave your comments below. I'm really curious. Have you tried this foundation? Why hasn't more people tried this foundation? This foundation is kind of really cool. I'm just saying, just saying. But Thank I'd you like so much for joining me. me today and watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.